Hello everybody, how you doing? It's been quite some time. To give you a lesson. Uh, today's lesson is proudly sponsored by Aria P. Aria P is one of the most amazing musicians out there. Uh, this t-shirt is one of uh, her t-shirts. It's one of her latest songs called Nobody. You need to check it out. I put the link out here, uh, up here. So uh, today, uh, I just want to do this freestyle. So I'll be mixed in, mixing two languages, Luganda and English. Uh, before, before this year, I think it was last year, I had started on a, a series of classes. They were in Luganda, basically for those people that are, that are beginners specifically. But of late, I've been uploading videos, uh, but... They were basically for those that at least have some knowledge on how the guitar works, on how music works. So uh, then I stopped on lesson five, lesson five. But now I want to start on lesson number six. So when again, we had started with a key of G and the key of G, uh, try to get the code, the G chord, the C and the D. And the progression that I had left you with was one, four, one, and number five. So today, that's where we are continuing from, from lesson five, then to, to lesson number six. Only that the previous classes, I was strictly using Luganda, but uh, as time went on, uh, people started writing and uh, asking me to do lessons in English, because apparently followers of this channel use both languages some are strictly english users and then there are those that are basically luganda speakers so uh today i want to show you some of the beginner songs that you can start with go question those three chords when you're using those three chords so uh i'll start with the christians because in most cases uh, i've met students who are usually christians and they want me to deal with christian songs then there are those who, uh, i find uh, for them they want to use their the other side of the music, the love songs. Uh, some people call them secular songs. So <clears throat> I'll start with my Christian friends and I'll start with simple songs, okay? So uh, uh, strictly I'm using the key of G. I'm not going to be looking at any other key, okay? So uh, I have one of my students on this platform called Angel. So Angel is one of those people that, that has been pressing me so much to, to put a, a lesson that is continuing from lesson number five. So this lesson number six, hope Angel, this helps you. Uh, here we go. Okay, uh, before I get into the songs that I want to show you today, uh, some people usually ask me about the difference between this G, holding G using these three fingers, finger one, two, and three. I usually recommend finger two coming here, finger three coming here, and finger four. This is also right depending on who taught you or who your teacher is. Uh, there are those who hold that G like this, using these two fingers uh, here down, then like this. It's also another uh, type of holding that G chord. I prefer this one. Why? Because it becomes easy to move to the chord of C. So these fingers just switch from here, get here, then this one will hold here. Okay, that's why I prefer this G. So my students usually hold this G. But there are those who hold this, depending on the teacher, like I said. Okay, let's get to the song. So, for my Christian friends out there, you can start with simple songs. We are going to use the progression of one, four, one, and five, which is the G. We are in the key of G. So, it's a G as the one, C as the four, back to the G, which is the one, and D, which is the five. So... To the river, I am going, bringing sins I can open. Take my hand now, lead me closer. I don't know if the, if the, the lyrics are right, but I think. Um, take my to the river, I am going, bringing sins I can open. Come and cleanse me, come forgive me, Lord I need to meet you. 
Precious Jesus, I am ready to surrender every care. Take my hand now, lead me closer. Lord, I need to meet you there. That's one of the simplest songs you can start with. Another song is... Nai musanga maso gangi eli mukama kubanga ya mane byange no kubera kwange kuri mu kweweka nai musanga maso gangi as simple as that uh, another song is baba kwa binguni hakuna kama wewe you can add a minor if you know how to play this minor Mm, the E minor, but you can just use the basics. Baba, wa binguni, hakuna kama wewe. Baba, wa binguni, hakuna kama wewe. If you want to add the flavor of that minor, it's there. Baba, wa binguni, hakuna kama wewe. So the minor brings in that feeling, that emotion. Baba wa binguni hakuna kama wewe and the minor is the E minor okay Tambura tambura Yesu tambura tukulabe hawo avalo santi wafa tambura bakulabe Those are some of the songs that are so easy to start with if you're playing or if you're, you started with a key of G. All right. Uh, for those friends of mine that love to practice with love songs, uh, these are some of the songs you can start with. I'll start with... Uh, Palaso song Zebuli cheni na chicho baby Omukwano gweni na gogo baby Zebuli cheni na chicho baby My baby pretty pretty like a rose flower Baby malam malam Malamu wa kongele ndala Baby malam malam Malamu wa kongele ndala Now the right hand I'm just speaking But you can just do the strumming so it depends on the level you are at when you're, uh, when you're practicing this song. So if your right hand is good, then you can strum. You can strum with a pick if you're good at it. But if you're just beginning and you just you just to roll, you just want to start your, uh, enjoying your music or enjoying your jitter, you can just do the simple picking root going down. I'm going to do a lesson on that at the end of this. So uh, one other song you can do is uh okay to an avan to have a twaga lavanji but many no quit and maybe in jvita so hooker jv kilo musanga no moves a church about what a kuniga hey i like a kobe langa kobe luna ko nakati luta jiku ya webi koma baku yamba na kwa tani mugila holy kikanga kala mukalu wiliza zenku gamba holy kwa wendi kwa Choli ya chendi ya chitegeza Baline wewa likuwa konsangiwa utu janga Baby, lean on me I'll never ever let you down Count on me Baline wewa likenda sendiwa uo Wabela umu ntwa kwa gala kumutima Uyo yense that's the strumming but the chord progression still remains the same you can do. Never 
ebikolotya wampisawo benange ne nkuchawa ebyokulu mu mutimuluke nabiko wanange kati omutimo gwange ngukoma nyowe wamanyira wonafao nje nakomo kwagale nyo nje nakowao nje nakomo kuchawa obulumi we wampisamu amaziga manjaga kulukuta pozenga ngude ndalo sinza kukutira no none tie so that's one of the songs you can also start doing when you begin but remember i told you that chord progressions are not just basically about 1 4 1 5 no you can find different songs okay so they just Uh, you just play one da, da, da. no 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 things change okay depending on the song that you're playing for example there's a song by silver chagulani that uh, moves are one five four and five like echi muli change mazo kuchinoka echi gambo change mazo chikuwa You know the rest of the verse. can sing because you guys are better singers than I am so basically I'm here to give you songs that you can do with a simple chord progressions in the key of G okay so now the assignment I'm giving you is try to play the song called Siri Muyembe by Raymond Makula so the easiest songs that you can start uh, the guitar with so just uh, I'm not giving you the progression for 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 that song it's just homework if you get it send the answer to the comment section tell me uh, the chord progression then i'll be like wow my my students are progressing all right i want to show you something on the right hand okay uh mutero kungamba and sibalaga right hand right now i'm showing you the right hand guys so uh most of the uh, the parts or most of the songs that i've been showing i was just doing a, sim- a single picking using the palga or the thumb okay that's the g the c the g and the d remember it is very important to emphasize the root note so the root note of the chord of g is the sixth string then uh, when we're playing the fifth string uh, when we're playing the c you start with the fifth string when we're playing the d you start with the fourth string it's very important that you emphasize those okay so then bana bantu abatwagala banji bamanyi nokweteme ebinje bitasoboka che bikilo musanga no mubuza che chaba atakunyenga remember you can always pause through these these lessons and you do your personal practice okay so let me just the, the simple strum so i'm doing that down up down and i'm using the index finger Even when you're strumming, you emphasize the root note. Mm-hmm. never ever let you down. Always pause. Count on me. Baline we bali kenda sendibao. That's the right hand. So if you're doing songs like Zebuli cheni na chicho baby. This is a little faster. Na chicho baby. Zebuli cheni na chicho baby. My baby pretty pretty like a rose flower. So when you're changing to the next chord, 
Even if you've not played all the strings, it's not a must that when you're playing the chord of G, you must play all the strings up to down. No, if it's time to change to the chord of C, stop where you are, then just move to the next chord, okay? <laughs> My baby pretty pretty like a rose flower. That's it. Nice practice, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm just requesting one thing from you guys. Subscribe, Banangi. That's the only thing you can do for me or for this channel to grow. Subscribe. Tell someone about this channel. Press the thumbs up button. It's also right down there. Then uh, leave a comment. Uh, if you're requesting for songs, do it in the comment section. If you want to improve this channel, you have ideas and you have uh, opinions, please leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, in Bagalan, you remember, always practice. If you want to do this better, if you want to play instruments better, any instrument, just uh, you just have to practice. Always practice. Otherwise, I love you so much. Peace out.